Yo, what up? We are back. You already know what it is, but the menu actually changed after killing the King of Puppets, and that's a very nice detail. Today, though, we are on a very important mission. First, to leave Lorenzini Arcade, but also we gotta find a goddamn wine bottle for an old lady, which I have been looking for for a while now still no luck unfortunately but we have another wine cellar looking area around here with dudes trapped in. can i open this i can't oh i saw that oh shit wait whoa 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 this guy's new freaking piedmon looking ass puppets and mutants don't like each other that is actually very cool all right i mean look this Fucking take him out. Yo, the old lady? Alright, nah, she got messed up. Oh, speaking of getting messed up. Dude, no. No, dude. Also, hold up. Is this a shortcut that I could have unlocked before? Yep, it most definitely is a shortcut I could have unlocked before. What the fuck? Bro, that looks sick. I mean, messed up, but sick. This guy's kind of tough. He's kind of tough. Oh! Dude. Oh. And... Uh. And... Bro, he doesn't fucking stop! Bro, these wheels do no fucking damage. Come on. I did manage to break one of his weapons, though. But he... he like, look at that damage, dude. Oh, well, that's another weapon. What are you gonna do now, big boy? What are you gonna do now? Come on, he's still not dead, god damn it! Bro! Fuck these guys! Balance crank, very nice. That's for scaling. And let's go! La Bluey! Alright, cool stuff. That's what I was looking for. Hello? Is anyone there? Yo, Vanini? Calling any and all stargazers in the vicinity. Please respond. Over. Hold up. I gotta unlock this door first. Can you hear me? Really? Yes. Aviva, it actually worked. This has to be how the King of Puppets did it. How he called to the puppets and controlled them. I can't believe you can transmit your voice through ergo waves. What a brilliant discovery. And you'll never believe what signal I've picked up over the ergo. A cry for help from the Grand Exhibition. Good, I need to go there. Somehow someone survived. I'm suspicious too, but you have to investigate. What if it's some trapped innocent? So what? <laughs> so what if I get trapped there? Have you thought about that? Everybody's thinking about the others, but what about me? Like, I'm the one that's solving all this shit. Anyway, I think she wants to talk as well. That's not the button to talk. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Also, hold up. Wait. Why is there a cat in the middle of the hallway? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. But I'm not gonna ask any questions about it. Just... Yo, that's a chill kitty. So is this the portrait? Yo! Nah, I mean... What? Uh, <laughs> bro, that's a little on the nose. Get it? But what the fuck is that? You cannot use this right now? Geppetto! What do you have to say about this, huh? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists he was eccentric he claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul but how can that happen just like the fairy tale forgive a foolish man his ramblings perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along i know you're curious so see for yourself see for myself huh so can i investigate this no i i can't do anything with this it's it just looks fucking weird bro but all right anyway you're back what I was so worried when you marched off to fight the king. I literally talked to you this, like a minute ago. It's a necklace from the Mona Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me, the king's ergo is actually 
Are you okay? You look ill ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens. You look... Carl. Yo. Did my character just pass out or something? Or is the Ergo influence starting to be... Wait a minute, my hair is different, right? You're changing. You're becoming something more than a puppet. Almost human. Yeah, you better get ready for if that. Just keep behaving. Keep feeling like a human does. Oh, I'll feel you, girl. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. So yeah, my hairstyle is different. Can't really say it's much of an upgrade. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think there's a way to change the hair. But this might have something to do with, like, the allegiance. Or, I mean, not the allegiance, but, you know, like, the morale system or whatever. Depending on how many lies you tell or something like that. I'm guessing lying will turn you more into a human. And being a good boy like Japan wants you to would actually turn you into more of a puppet. But anyway, open this door. Where are we right now? Do I recognize this? Well, I mean, we're in Krat, that's for sure. Yo, look at that set piece, bro. Like, this game looks beautiful. The gameplay is pretty tight too, like the music is great, like it, this is a very nice game man. Honestly it's kind of a shame that it's so freaking hard. And I know talking about difficulty when it comes to souls likes, it's it's like beating a dead horse because there's gonna be those dudes that can always like no hit run whatever and they just say you just gotta get good. But good balancing is important for a game because I mean at the end of the day no one sitting in front of their computer to win any fucking medal or whatever. We do this for fun and I do like challenging games. That's why I play Souls Likes and I love them. But there is always such a thing as too little and there's definitely such a thing as too much as well. And this game in particular, I definitely feel like it goes overboard, bro. But it's great. Like, uh, again, you know, the music, the boss is the design of everything. Like, I want to keep playing. I wanna see more of it, but it's fucking hard, bro. No joke. If every boss and the elite had like 20% less health than they do right now, would it make the game for casuals? Like, no! It, like, but would it make it more fun? Probably yes! Would I feel better playing it and not as stressed? Yeah, also probably. But again, I already know that talking about difficulty in Souls Likes just leads absolutely nowhere. And everybody's just gonna tell you that you gotta get good! And yep, that's that's just how it is. That's one thing that FromSoft really does well in their games. It's the balance. Like, the difficulty never really feels absolutely crazy. But it's challenging, you know? When you start doing, like, randomizers and challenges, like, and you start just fighting the bosses more often, you can really see how they start to become easy. And like, it's great, it feels rewarding to play. Except for Melania, they definitely went a little bit overboard with her. But then again, it's an optional boss, so I guess different rules apply. Now this dude, for example, is about as tough as a boss, but he's just some random dude in a courtyard, not even an actual boss. And like, it just takes fucking two hours to get through it. Makes no fucking sense if you ask me. But I already know that most people in the Souls-like community are just going to suffer through a boss for like two hours. And then once the job is done, they'll play it off like it's nothing because they don't want to get called a casual. Because I mean, Souls aren't a problem. From Software definitely knows what they're doing. It's the soul likes that sometimes just don't really hit the mark. And my god, look, balancing a game, it's not easy, like, it takes a lot of skill. Especially for souls likes, where you have to make something that's fun, but challenging at the same time. These guys definitely got the challenge part down, but I guess they left the, the fun for, like, 5% of their player base. Which, again, is not good balancing. Especially for such a well-made game like this, they could have definitely made it a bit more approachable. But, I mean, I, it is what it is. Yo, we have a new enemy over there. Yo, that dude has drills on its back. <laughs> I mean, that guy looks kind of messed up, bro. Oh, shit. All right, he does break. And he's got tank legs, too. What the hell, bro? Yeah, hit him with this. Come on. Oh, nice stagger. 
people. Bro, 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 bro. Yo, the double parry, come on. Beautiful. All right, cool stuff. Give me that star fragment. What is this? Crescent Moonstone. I like it. I also like these guys. Because if you attack them, yeah, but you can break their weapons. And it's so nice. Yo. Dude. That weapon is really weak, bro. I don't know where you got that, but I would get a refund, man. For sure. That dude got ripped off. Yo, nah, another. Yeah, I don't think so. Just give me this butterfly, please. It gave me a technique crank. I shall use it to crank up my technique tonight with Sophia. You see, now, this is just some bullshit, bro. I mean, <laughs> come on. Let's get him back here. Actually, can he fall? Come on, do something. Come on, bro, rush me or something. I'm not sure if he can, oh, but I can get around him though, and I am going to do it, fuck it. At this point, I've just, I've run out of patience for the elites, man. What is this man doing? Yo, hey, can you actually saw off that chain or something? Oh, he can actually, I mean, kinda. So, does this count as a shortcut or something? Well, not exactly, but it does lead to some fucked up shit. What the hell were they doing in here? Oh, and we also have a phone booth. Think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Well, glass if you want to shank someone in prison, but I guess this is what they're looking for. Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. Yo, who the hell is this dude? Is he... What the fuck? He's got a machine gun? God, is this like a stalker or something? Yo. Alright. Bro, we have a bunch of these dudes now. What the, who the hell are these guys? They're like, they're just a bunch of old men. Like, they might actually be stalkers. Like, just old. I, I, I don't know, man. There's another one coming in. No. Get out of here. There, yo, there's another old guy. And fuck. Bro, give me that thing, Crescent Moonstone, I mean, hey, that's nice. And a sharp pipe. Hey, I always keep my pipe sharp with some kegels. <laughs> what? Well, that's Bane? Alright, so I don't know exactly who these guys are, but they're definitely using something. To How did I miss? Come on. To, like, enhance themselves? Which is kind of nice, honestly. It's an interesting idea. It's like a boxer. And it's fucking me up. Yep, this man definitely got hands and feet. Oh, I tried to bury that, but it's a goddamn grab. And... Yep, and I'm done. Also, hold up. There's a chest over here. Please, be quick. Come on, just give me this thing. Oh, my bro. By the way, does the chest stay open? It does. It's a legion caliber, all right. That's another different... No, wait, that's not a puppet. That's another... It's one of the crazy guys, too. But some just seem maybe a little crazier than the others, I guess. They definitely look interesting, though. And it's got a crazy-ass moveset. Yep, as they usually do. Everybody does. Oh, oh, eep. Alright, I couldn't parry that one. They could have definitely made these guys backstabable just saying fuck tongue. Alright, god damn. Star fragment. That's gonna be an order of crowd report. We got some lore and whatnot. This is gonna be a legion plug. Fortunately, I don't think this boxer guy actually counts as an elite unit. He's just strong, but he's not as hard as some of the elites we fought before. But he's definitely still a challenge. Come on. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, let's go. Oh my, come on, bro. Really? Come on, hit him. Oh, thank God. Can do it from the back. Yes, I can. Let's go. Dun, dun. Hit another one of these. Oh, oh, dude, I blocked that. I swear I got them blocked that. And bum. Bung. Oh, that's a grab. Suck. Dung. That's an uppercut, and that can combo you on the floor. Fantastic. 
What an amazing experience, bro. He's gonna do it again! Bang, bang, oh, and oh shit, there's another. Oh my god, I staggered him. Let's go. Yo, god damn, Legion Caliber, give me that shit. An elite shouldn't be this goddamn stressful, man. What the fuck? Anyway, what I wanna know right now is how do I respec? I know it's somewhere around this place, in which I still have no clue what the hell they were doing. It might have something to do with the monsters, and that's a boss. I'm going to guess that I can only respec after the boss which is another problem with the game like since the game is so hard why would you lock the respec so far into the game if you by any chance happen to fuck your build up like you might as well just restart the entire game anyway let's see what awaits us i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a giant mutant fight or something we've been seeing a lot of corpses oh yeah welcome to my grave Yo, it's a wrestler guy? This is where evolution becomes real! Fear me. I am victim. The champion! This guy looks pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure this weapon ain't gonna cut it. I'm fighting alongside a Spectre right now, and I still feel like I'm doing no fucking damage right. Yeah! All right, good. Oh my god. Yo, he just combo the hell out of my Spectre, and he has a second phase, of course. This dude is really juiced up. Holy shit. If I was complaining about that much before, that I, I'm even more screwed now. This guy went from Bane to the Grey Hulk or something. That likes the party a little too much. He got some of that glow in the dark body paint. So he can go hit up the next rave. Come on! Oh my I can't sprint away from this dude. Yeah. Fuck. Fun. Suck. I need the heal and to sharpen my weapon as well now. All right. I mean, look. At least I do feel like the second phase is easier. I would understand if the fury attacks could be dodged, but not parried. But the other way around, like again, it's just it's really punishing. I know most of these weather attacks have some pretty bad tracking, which is a good thing. But like, you're not always in a position where you can dodge. Personally, for me, I think the dodging just works a lot better. Also, I think the iframes on it are a bit better than the parry timing. But also, just because, I don't know, I'm just more used to dodge through an attack. Except you can't, I mean, well, again, the tracking, it does allow you to dodge it sometimes, but not all. Fuck. All right, that was a nice parry. So, come on. Oh. And is that a follow-up? No. Is that another co- Yes, that's a combo. Shit. Well, that's nice. Get away, please. Oh, I just real. I don't have any more vials, bro. That might be rough. Up. There's three, now hit him. All right, we have a vial. Shit. No, oh my! And I'm just wasting health at this point. That's a full ass combo. No, thank you. Is he gonna stop? Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on, Victor. I heard you are the champ. You! You! Oh, come on. The dodge. Oh! Zung. Zung. All right, I only need like one running heavy, maybe, maybe more. Some. Uh, come on, what? Nah, bro. All right, and I got an achievement. So, all right, no third phase. Good to know. My be humble. I have evolved. 
Hello? Bro, who the hell is this? Freaking Ornstein over there with a spear through? And who the hell is this guy now? Yo! This, this is getting crazy. Can I get that armor by the way? That would be sick. My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Gepetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? It's not what quite the words I would use to describe. has created here? A bunch of abominations. What the fuck? You're short-sighted, just like your father. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting, not to mention demoralizing. All right, so we got a key, and that guy is the leader of the alchemists. All right, interesting stuff for sure. Now, we have a door here, but, I mean, unless they lead to the same place. I definitely remember a door needing a key, but it was like back at the start. Unless this leads somewhere there. No, this leads me back to the tram. Yo, look who it is. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles, and do I ever need one? The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure, and never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Don't make me beg. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. The gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any as a personal favor? Bro, for some reason, I don't trust these guys. I bet they're swindling the fuck out of me right now. But sure, whatever. <gasps> we knew you were a true friend and generous. That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. Either way, we got Quixotic and the bag gesture, alright. 
I still want to go back though. No wait, actually let me get on this thing because maybe it will lead me to the front of the building. It doesn't. It actually just leads to a comp... No, wait a minute. Is this... Oh, Baron Swamp Trap. For a moment I thought maybe this is Vanini Works, but nah. Although, it, I mean... Some of the structures, they're similar, but no, it's alright, it's a different area, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna need a stargazer real quick, yeah, thank you. There's a lot of people to talk to at the hotel, there's also this woman that I'm going to talk to right now. Hello. Ah, lovely wee. Even in the bottle it has a distinctive shade of red. Yes. <sighs> Thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. This glimmer of happier days is priceless. Oh, why, you almost forgot. Speaking of price, here's what I can spare. Please, take it. Vanini commemorative coin? Commemorative of what? The, what? When has this guy been distributing coins? I mean, I know he's a little eccentric, but... God damn. I assume the key we got from the alchemist guy opens this door, yes, and I also assume that this is where you respect, correct? Oh yeah, nah, it definitely- Yo, what? Sophia? When the fuck did you get here? I got a new emote as well, pretty cool, but you have something to tell me? You can do a system reset. Yeah, 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 all right, cool stuff. There's also a stargazer in here. Do you have anything to tell me? It seems that the power of the listener within me is getting stronger. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Maybe it's because of the power of this Saint Tess statue. I came to you because I wanted to tell you about Simon. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death. For delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Even worse than the disasters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Alright, so I guess this is technically an illusion of Sophia that she can create now, I guess? Well, anyway, let me investigate this. Reset level, reset P organs and legion arm. Alright, level. So, I need 10 gold coin fruit? I mean, sure, whatever. Yo, nice animation. Wait, I get reset to my starter class. Not fully. So I still have points in motivity that I don't really need if I want to become a technique build right now. Well, that kind of sucks, but I... sure. It would also be nice if they showed what level the stat was previously, so that when you're re-leveling up, you kind of know what your build was, you know? Either way, guess it doesn't really matter what you change into, because my most optimal build right now will always be a motivity build because of my levels. I can't say I love that, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Peace.